Well, welcome to another journey back through time. Today we're going to take a look at Pittsburgh, PA's Mansfield Road, which is now known as Noblestown Road, leading to South Main Street in the West End. And in Allegheny County in the early days, uh, most of the roads from the West and the South led to the West End and then into Carson Street that would take people if, uh, into the city of Pittsburgh if that's where they were heading. The city of Pittsburgh started on its own road building project uh, in downtown Pittsburgh, but then in the early 1900s started to work on the outskirts as we see here in this picture of South Main Street from 1912 in the West End. If you look at the top of that building, you'll see that it's 155 South Main Street. So as we take a closer look at that picture, and then we journey a little further, we find that 155 South Main Street is now located here. If you were looking the opposite direction towards the river, you'd see this, but now this is what you see today. And then looking towards the West End on South Main Street, you can see that the city did a pretty good job of fixing up their roads early on. Same picture from a little distance back. But nowadays, in fact, this is from 2007, and you can see that in only nine years, it's already changed to look like this in 2016. As you go into the West End, this was South Main Street in 1912, looking towards the river, you can see old St. James Catholic Church on the left, what it looks like today, in a, in a side street, Sanctus Street, also had a lot of work done. The city was doing a lot of work to get these streets into shape. That's Thaddeus Stevens, the original Thaddeus Stevens School on the left, and the firehouse at the top of the hill. The firehouse sits on uh, Steuben Street. There's an empty lot there now. And by 1917, St. James had built their school on the right hand side. But the people that lived in the outskirts of Allegheny County, they wanted to have their roads. They said, we can't get into the West End. We can't get into Pittsburgh very well. You're going to have to do something with these roads. And they petitioned the county and held meetings to get these roads into better shape. Now, one of the most prominent features that you might remember of Noblestown Road is this curve leading into the West End. It was known as the death curve and you can tell by the yellow the scrapes on the yellow wall there that it's still a uh, dangerous place to drive but this is what it looked like back in 1913 when they were beginning to repair it many people went over that curve a lot of accidents here's from january of 1925 coal truck. And then February, auto leaps death curve. And these were just some of the accidents. Till finally in March of that same year, council votes to, to pay $8,000 to build the wall to keep people from going over. And I suppose it saved a few trucks from going over. And not only were there accidents from people going over the hill, there were also landslides, both from above and Below, the road would slide over the hill. So there were constant problems trying to keep Mansfield Road maintained. And it still goes on to this day. So they would petition, they'd try to fix the slides, and then couple years later there there would be more slides
people wrote letters to the editor complaining not only about the the danger of the the curve of the road but also about the landslides and still this articles from 1930 people still would have accidents on the road so it was in constant repair and this is an interesting article because the county said the city you're gonna have to fix it yourself we build it you maintain it so these are just some pictures through the years of how the city and the county built and continued to maintain Noblestown Road or Mansfield Road as it was known at that time Then while they were building the road, they, people had to use other roads because it was closed. And they were just as bad, if not worse. This is an article about seven autos breaking down on a bad, on Middletown Road near Tyndall Street. It's near Berry Street in the City Acres section of Sheridan. looking towards Crafton this is heading out of the city looking towards the curve again looking towards the curve heading out of the city and now we're looking back towards the city going into the West End. Again, we'd like to thank Dave Wright and the Allegheny County Public Works Department for the use.